A new peer-reviewed study from physicists at the University of Warsaw and Oxford proposes a framework where tachyons, faster than light particles, could exist without violating special relativity. Long dismissed for breaking causality, the revised model avoids paradoxes by using quantum principles. It doesn't prove tachyons are real, but shows they might be theoretically possible, reshaping how we think about the limits of physics. Tachyons have been around in theory since 1962, when physicist Gerald Feinberg proposed the idea of particles with imaginary mass, a value derived from taking the square root of a negative number. The implication was radical. If such particles existed, they would always travel faster than light. But the concept ran into immediate trouble. Within Einstein's framework, any particle with mass needs infinite energy to reach light speed. Feinberg's idea tried to sidestep this by proposing that tachyons never start below light speed. They begin above it and stay there. The math checked out, but the physics did not. One of the main problems was causality. If something moves faster than light, Different observers can disagree about the order of events. A message sent from point A to point B could be received before it was sent. This isn't just strange, it violates the fundamental logic of cause and effect. Other issues followed. Equations that included tachyons often led to infinite or undefined energy values. Different reference frames predicted different numbers of particles, and vacuum states in these models were unstable, making the whole system physically incoherent. Because of these problems, tachyons were largely discarded as artifacts of overly flexible math. But in this new study, the authors revisit the question with more advanced tools. Their key innovation is incorporating both initial and final conditions into the system. Something known as two-state vector formalism, a concept used in certain interpretations of quantum mechanics. The model treats particles as time-bounded at both ends, avoiding contradictions. A backward-moving tachyon in one frame is a forward-moving anti-tachyon in another, consistent with special relativity and free of unphysical assumptions. At the heart of this new model is a subtle shift in how we think about time in quantum systems. Most physical models evolve forward from an initial state. The two-state formalism, by contrast, defines a system's behavior using both where it starts and where it ends. This allows for processes that appear time-symmetric, where past and future are equally important in shaping events. Applied to tachyons, this symmetry helps explain apparent backward-in-time motion without creating paradoxes. In this view, the world line of a tachyon a path it traces through space and time, is determined by both emission and absorption events. It's not that the particle travels into the past, rather, it completes a path between two fixed boundaries. This interpretation avoids one of the oldest objections, that tachyons imply violations of causality. In the new model, information doesn't travel arbitrarily into the past, it flows between defined endpoints, maintaining internal consistency and agreement across frames of reference. Another advantage is energy stability. Previous tachyon models often resulted in runaway energy, particles gaining infinite kinetic energy the closer they came to light speed from above. But the new framework uses improved propagators, mathematical tools that describe particle behavior across spacetime to limit energy to finite, stable values. Vacuum instability, another classic flaw, also disappears. By properly defining the field equations under both initial and final boundary conditions, the model avoids the chaotic energy states that plagued earlier tachyonic theories. Crucially, the new framework preserves Lorentz invariance, ensuring consistent physics across all observers. Unlike past models, frame shifts don't cause contradictions, but reinterpret particle behavior, much like how antiparticles are viewed in quantum field theory. By applying that logic to tachyons, the model offers a coherent, 
contradiction-free way to describe superluminal particles. One implication is the possibility of retrocausality, where effects can precede causes under specific constraints. Though still controversial, this idea has appeared in several interpretations of quantum mechanics, especially in contexts involving entanglement and weak measurements. The new model provides a relativistically consistent basis to explore these ideas further. It also ties into broader discussions about the arrow of time. In thermodynamics, time flows forward because entropy increases. But at the quantum level, certain processes are time-symmetric. This model sits within that space, suggesting a universe where the distinction between past and future may depend more on context than on law. There's also relevance to cosmology. Tachyonic fields have been proposed in inflationary models and explanations of dark energy although these don't involve particles moving faster than light. Still, the mathematical structures involved overlap, and this new framework might help refine those ideas. Then there's the experimental angle. Past claims of superluminal particles, like the faster-than-light neutrinos reported by CERN's OPERA experiment in 2011, were ultimately attributed to instrumentation errors, no verified detection of tachyons exists, and this study doesn't propose a direct method to find them. That said, it provides a roadmap for how such particles might behave if they do exist, which could help shape future experiments. Indirect signatures, such as anomalies in high-energy particle collisions or unexplained energy losses, might now be interpretable under this framework. Still, not all physicists are convinced. Some argue that while the model is consistent, it doesn't yield new predictions. Without those, it remains more of a reinterpretation than a physical theory. Others suggest that even if tachyons can exist mathematically, nature may not realize them. Tachyons were long dismissed for creating contradictions. This study doesn't claim they exist, but shows they don't need to be ruled out. By uniting time-symmetric quantum methods with relativity, it offers a consistent view of faster-than-light motion. It won't build time machines, but it reopens fundamental questions about time and causality, showing that progress in science often begins with better questions, not final answers. <laughs>